friend Coletta, and I couldn't be more excited to be joining Project Dome, the yoga class of one million to battle breast cancer. To get you ready for the big event, May 12th through the 14th, enjoy this family yoga class, great for all levels and all ages. When you're finished, check out the other yoga videos, or better yet, register for Project Ohm classes in your area and donate anything you can to help this worthy cause. All donations go directly to Susan G. Komen. Practice on. So we're gonna go ahead and get started seated today in comfortable crisscross legs. And I want you to imagine, can you imagine that your bottom has glue and can you glue your bottom to your yoga mat? That's good. And then can you touch the top of your head? And I want you to look up towards the ceiling and just for a moment imagine that from the top of your head to the ceiling there's a string. And then look forward and help that string pull you up so you can sit up really tall and then reach your hands high into the air and make two really big high five hands. Very good. And then you're going to bring your hands down to the side of your body and we're going to do something called sunshine arms with ocean breath. Do you know what the sound of an ocean wave sounds like? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so together we're going to inhale, reach our arms up and then we're going to breathe out Good, two more times, big breath in. Big breath out. One more time, big breath in. Big rolling ocean wave out. Very good, put your hands on your knees. And I want you to imagine that your body has turned into a bumblebee. And if, ooh, if you were a bumblebee, what sound would a bumblebee make? Buzz or hum. Yep, so we're gonna move our bodies like this, like we're bumblebees as we do the humming and it's on the out breath that we hum, okay? So sitting up tall, breathe in through your nose. Very good. So we know that that's humming breath. I wanna add a breath to this and it's flower breath. Okay, because what do bumblebees do with flowers? They get the pollen to make the honey, that's right. So look how we're gonna make our flowers. We're gonna use our hands. And you wanna put your uh, palms together, your pinkies together, and your thumbs together. So these are like the petals to your flower. And you're gonna smell the center of your flower. You're gonna take a big breath in your shoulders, shrug up. And then you shrug your shoulders down and you go. That's it, try that one more time. Big breath in, big breath out. Very good, so this time what's going to happen is we're gonna do our bumblebee and then our bumblebee is going to land on our flower. Think we can do that? Okay, so sitting up tall, hands on your knees, take a big breath in through your nose. Find your flower, ready? Oh, very good job. So now this is what's gonna happen. Kiddos, you were kids and parents together. We're gonna all do the humming, but kids get to pick the flower and you're gonna have parents smell the flower. You think you can do that? So who's going to pick the flower? Raise your hand if you're a kid and you're gonna pick the flower. Very good, and raise your hand if you're a parent and you're just gonna be the bumblebee. Okay, very good, is everyone ready to start? I'll know you're ready when you're on cross legs, hands on your knees, very good. Sitting up very tall in your body, take a big breath in. Kids, you're gonna find your flower and you're gonna give it to your parent. Oh, very good. Okay, so now that we've warmed our lungs up with our breathing, we're gonna do a yoga pose pattern to warm our bodies up, okay? And we're gonna start in rock pose. And rock pose looks like this. You come onto your mat, you take your knees wide, you touch your toes together, your forehead and your bottom 
rest towards your heels or you can keep your body up. So go ahead and go to rock pose now. Knees nice and wide, the arms are forward. You're look, looking down towards your yoga mat. And I always like to do rock pose as a nice time to connect to breath. So let's do an ocean breath here. Take a big breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, big ocean breath out. That's it, now look up to your fingers. And we're gonna make a table next. So you're gonna come up onto your hands and knees. That's it, and a good way to measure your legs is just for a minute, sit back. Take two high five hands in the air and make two fists. Touch them together and then make sure that your fists go between your knees. That's it. And then you're gonna walk your hands forward and spread your fingers wide and let the tops of your feet go flat for a really long spine. That's it. And then from here, we're gonna make cow and cat pose. Bianca, can you remind me what's a cow sound like? Moo. And Joya, can you remind me what does a cat sound like? Meow. So watch, the different ways we move our back, we can make the sound. So cow looks like this. We drop our belly, we squeeze our shoulder blades, we go moo. And then the cat, we round our spine and you go meow. That's it. And then you bring yourself back and you go to your rock pose. So that's the pattern we're gonna do. And you breathe. Take a big breath in, big ocean breath out. Very good. So let's repeat the pattern, ready? Table. Cow, cat, good, and back to rock pose. Take a deep breath in, big ocean breath out. That's it, last time of the pattern, here we go. Table, cow, good, cat, and rock, big breath in, Big ocean breath out. That's it. Now look up to your fingers. Let's come back to table pose. And now that you warmed your body up, I'm gonna take you into all of our yoga poses next. So start by tucking your toes under. And then imagine that on your bottom there you have a dog tail. And I want you to wag your dog tail. That's it, very good. And then you're gonna lift your dog tail up and you're gonna stretch your legs and we're gonna go to our first downward facing dog of the day. And these little doggies probably need a walk. You're gonna bend your knees side to side like you're walking your doggy. Feel a stretch in your legs. Good. And now look up to your hands and slowly walk your hands back and bend your knees a lot so you can touch your fingers to your toes. That's it. And then from here, tuck your chin to your chest like you're looking for your belly button. Begin to straighten your legs a little bit so that you can bring your hands onto your hips. And once your hands onto your hips, you're gonna roll vertebrae by vertebrae all the way up to stand. Whew. Welcome to your body. So we're gonna start in our standing poses in mountain pose. And our mountains strong or weak? Strong and they're calm and they're still, yeah? So let's take one leg, lift it up and put it down. And then take your other leg, lift it up and put it down. And then touch your shoulders, get strong in your shoulders. Very good. And then touch the top of your head. That's like the peak to your mountain. And bring your hands down to the side of your body. Very good. And let's do a shoulder circle here. So your shoulders go up towards your ears. That's right. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. Very good. So next we have star pose. How many points are on a star, Bianca? Five points on a star. So we're actually all going to turn to face the side of our yoga mats. That's it. And then once you're facing the side of your yoga mat, you're gonna step your feet out so they're a whole entire legs distance apart. That's it. And so let's count the points of our star. This leg is one. This leg is two. Your head is three, your arm is four, and your other arm is five. And I want you just for a moment to imagine like you're the biggest, most giant star in the sky. Spread your arms, take a big breath in, big breath out. Very good, put your hands on your hips. So if we know that there's five points on a star, how many points do we have on a triangle? 
three points on a triangle. So check it out. Look at your feet. You are going to turn your right foot to the front of your mat. That's it. Keep your left toes facing the side of the mat, and then you're gonna stretch your arms out to a T. That's it. So your feet are gonna be point one and two, and your hand that goes in the air is point three. You're gonna take your right hand, wave your right hand, and you're gonna touch your right shin. That's it. And if you need to bend your front knee, go ahead and bend your knee and then look up towards your thumb and turn your palm forward. That's it. And then take a big breath in. Big breath out. Good. Press into your feet. Breathing in, we're going to come up. Good job. Breathing out. Bring your hands to your hips. And then we're going to turn our foot back in. That's it. And now what we did on one side of our body, we're gonna do on the other. So take your left foot and you're gonna turn it to the back of your mat. Very good following directions. And then you're gonna reach your arms out to a T and you're gonna wave your left hand in the air and touch your left hand towards your shin. And then look up towards your thumb. You're gonna take a big breath in, big breath out. Beautiful triangles, press into your feet. Breathe in, you come up. Breathe out, put your hands on your hips. Turn your foot in. Bring your star body back. That's it. Let's do one shooting star here. Are you ready? Like a slow shooting star in the sky. You're gonna bend your knees a lot. You're gonna breathe in. And a slow shooting star. Good job. Hands on your hips. Turn your right foot back to the front of your mat. Bend your front knee a lot. And in one step, are you ready? Mountain. Calm. Are you breathing? Mountain. Good. So the next pose we're going to do is warrior one pose. Do you think warriors are strong or weak? Strong. They're strong. That's right. So look how this is going to happen. Where is the right side of your body? Raise your right hand in the air. Very good. Your right foot gets to step forward and your left foot steps back and you can face the front of your mat. Uh, yep, there you go. And then you want to imagine like if you had headlights on your hips, you're shining them forward. Your back leg gets to stay straight and strong and your front knee bends. And that's when you feel your warrior strength in your body. That's it. And then reach one warrior arm up. Good job, Bianca. Reach your other arm up. And can you show me your strong warriors? Oh yeah. And then reach your warrior arms back up. Take a big breath in. And in one step, mountain. Calm, focused, breathing. Mountains, very good. Other side, so if we did our right side, what side do we do now? Left, where's your left side of your body? Cool, so your left foot steps to the front of your mat. Your right foot steps back. You make sure that your hips face the front of your mat. That's it. Back leg stays straight and strong. You're going to bend your front knee. One strong warrior arm up. Other strong warrior arm up. Very good. Show me strong warriors on the left side. Good. <laughs> Reach those arms up. Take a big breath in. And as we breathe out, mountain. Very good. Breathe in. Reach your arms up into the air. Breathe out, bend your knees so much that your hands can touch the ground. Place your fingers flat, step yourself back. You're in downward facing dog. Good, take a big breath in. Big ocean breath out. That's it, bring your knees to the ground. You're in table pose. And just for a moment, let's take a rest back in rock pose. Take a big breath in. Big ocean breath out. That's it. Look up to your fingers. And this time I want you to come up to your hands and knees. You're gonna cross your feet underneath of you. It's a little bit tricky. And then bring yourself to a seat. <laughs> right through. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we're gonna do a twisting pose. And this is a little tricky because it's gonna stretch not only our bodies, but our minds. Reach your hands into the air. Right hand, look at your left knee. Touch your left knee. Left hand behind you. 
Good job. Sit up tall, take a big breath in. As you breathe out, twist and look over your shoulder. That's it. And then you're gonna come back to center. High five hands. Left hand, right knee. Right hand behind you. Sitting up tall, take a big breath in. As you breathe out, look over your shoulder. Very good. Last pose before we do our partner poses. We're gonna do butterfly pose. So you're gonna feel your hips in this pose. You're gonna bring your feet to touch. Um, just listen to your body and what it needs. Maybe you wanna have your feet wider forward. Maybe you wanna have your feet closer to you. Make sure that you're pressing your feet. You can hold the outside of your feet. You can hold your ankles. You're gonna sit as tall as you can in your body. And if you were any color butterfly, imagine what color you could be. And you're gonna slowly, slowly move your butterfly wings. And that allows it to be like a graceful butterfly. Ooh, good job. And now, before a butterfly is a butterfly, what is it? A caterpillar, and then what does it spin before it becomes a butterfly? Chrysalis. So imagine you're gonna fold yourself forward like you're folding yourself forward into that chrysalis, and you're gonna feel a bigger stretch on your hips here, and you're gonna take a giant big breath in, and an equally big breath out, and then you're gonna breathe in and come all the way up. That's it, and breathing out, come back to cross legs, and I'll know you're ready for the directions next. So we're gonna do partner poses next, and what I'm gonna suggest is that parents go together and children go together, but if you're in a situation where there's less parents or more children, you can go ahead and work with um, parents and children um, together, that works well. The last seated pose we did before butterfly was the twisting pose, and we're gonna do that pose together. Um, so what you wanna do is you wanna come close enough to your partner that your knees can touch. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and then um, you're going to bring your hands together to touch. Yep. There you go. Lift your bottom up. There you go. And slide forward. There you go. And then bring your hands together to touch. And this is a little tricky, so you might have to help your friend that you're with. <laughs> um, you're gonna take your own right hand behind your back. That's it. Yep, so that one's gonna go behind. There you go. And then you're gonna take your left hand and you're gonna touch your partner's left hand and you're gonna go around their back to catch their hand that's behind their back. And if you can't catch a hand, that's okay. Let me just show a modification here with Erica and Phil. You can always hold a thigh and you're gonna get the same kind of stretch here. So if that feels like it's too much in the back, that's always a choice. So go ahead and make the modification that works works for you. And then <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to inhale, sit up as tall as you can. That's it. And then you're going to exhale and you're going to twist away from each other. And as you twist away from each other, you should feel that stretch through the side body, through the shoulders. That's it. And if you lean back a little bit, you can feel a bigger stretch. Ooh la la. Good. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. That's it. And then we're going to go back to facing one another, high five hands, touch, and we're gonna make it even on the other side. So now your left hand goes behind your back. That's it. The right hand touches, and notice one side might be different than the other. You may be able to connect hands on this side as you weren't on the other. <clears throat> That's it. And then you're gonna inhale, sit up tall. That's it. And then exhale, you're twisting away from each other. Very good. And then take a big breath in. Big breath out. See if you can lean back a little bit. See how that changes the pose. Breathe in. Good. Breathe out. That's it. Come back to center. You're going to give a high five. Very well done. First partner pose. Are we ready for the next one? Okay, so um, we're going to have Bianca help show us the two poses that we're going to do together. Um, so we're gonna do dogs and snakes. Bianca, can you show us what downward dog looks like? Okay, so one person gets to be the dog and then the other person gets to be the snake.
for this one, okay? So I'm thinking for this one, maybe what we do is we have, um, we have mom and dad be the dogs and then we can have kiddos be the snakes. How about that? And then do you remember snake pose, Bianca? Can you show us that or cobra pose? So for cobra pose, you're on your belly, your hands are to your side and then you lift up like this. So can you show that to us, Bianca, what that looks like? That's it. Yep, tops of the feet are flat, thighs are on the ground and we, can you do snake breath for us? You take a big breath in, big breath out. That's it, okay. So why don't we do this? Joya, why don't you jump over with your dad? And um, Erica, why don't you jump over here with Bianca? And we will do, parents can be the dogs and I'll help with the snakes. That's it, and then do you remember the snake pose that Bianca just did? You can slide right under. Very good. Face Bianca, Joya. Turn your body, there you go and take a big breath in, big breath out. Very good. And then can you slide back out and everyone's gonna take a rest in rock pose. Very good. <laughs> and we're all in rock pose and we're gonna take a big breath in, big ocean breath out. That's it. And then I want you to look up towards your fingers and you're gonna come onto your knees or to cross legs. And we're gonna do the last pose together, um, which is going to be lizard on a rock, okay? So we'll have, um, let's do a mat swap again. Let's have parents go together and children go together. Why don't we use Bianca and Joya to show and then parents can help after. So we're gonna go ahead can you do rock pose, please, Bianca? That's right. And then Joya, you're gonna be the lizard. So Joya's gonna come right behind Bianca. And can you come so that you're, you want your back to be on Bianca's back? So you're gonna turn your body. That's it. <clears throat> and then, Joya, what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you bend your knees just like this one, bend your other one. That's it, and you wanna slide your knees back, and then you're gonna slide yourself right up onto Bianca, and we're gonna check in and say, Bianca, you feel okay? Yeah. Do you feel okay? Okay, and then you're gonna rest your head back, that's it. And then you're going to keep your knees bent, very good. Do you feel stable, Joya? You feel a big back bend? Do you feel like a lizard hanging out on a rock? Okay, so you can stay here, or you can reach your arms up. And Bianca, do you feel okay? Okay, so parents, you can go ahead. One can be the rock first. Um, one person's going to be a lizard. And then once you're on, and then the next part, Joy, is if you really wanna stretch this out, you can stretch your legs straight. There you go. <laughs> Bianca, you still okay? Good, nice. And I'm gonna come over here and you can relax your head. You're okay under there, Erica? Nice, and dad, if that's too intense on shoulders, you can keep your hands on belly. You can even go out to the side. Yeah, so you can play with your arm, yeah. So if you play with the arm adjustment, you'll get that nice stretch in the back. Yeah, good, and then find your breath once you're there. And then the exit, is important, Joya, so we wanna be safe. So you're gonna bend your knees, that's it. And then you're gonna hold on here. And can you push yourself up to seated? I'll help you, hands here. There you go. Ooh, very good. And then you're gonna sw switch your partner. So we're gonna go to the other side. So now, Bianca, you get to be the lizard and Joya, you get to be the rock. So with your partner, you go ahead and switch. That's it, take your knees wide. And then I'm gonna just move your body that way. That's it. There you go, Joya. Arms forward and make sure you check in with your partner. That's it, you're not good. Even though Bianca's feeling much bigger than Joya and you might feel that way with your partner, but it's okay. Uh, Phil's much bigger than Erica and they were able to do it. Good. You good, Erica? Nice. There you go. Joya, are you okay under there? Feels like a nice stretch. Bianca, do you feel yourself getting a good stretch? There you go. And let's all hear a big ocean breath. Big breath in, 
big ocean breath out. That's it. And then you're gonna bring your hands down. That's it. And then very slowly, you're gonna take yourself back up to seated. That's it. Very good. And let's all for a moment just go back to our own yoga mats. And we're gonna go slowly and calmly and quietly. And we're gonna all make ourselves in rock pose. So we're to the very end of our yoga class where we get to do a nice relaxation. And you're gonna take a big breath in through your nose. Big ocean breath out your mouth. That's it. And then I want you to look up towards your fingers and you're gonna come back up to cross legs and through to a seat. And I'm gonna show you one breath because we're gonna do a really fun relaxation. But when we do the relaxation, we need to know about this breath before we do it. So put your hands on your belly. And I want you to imagine in your belly you have a balloon and you have to use your breath to blow it up. So it's a little bit tricky. You breathe in, watch my belly. You breathe in and you fill your belly full and then you breathe out and you deflate your balloon like this. Can you try that? Good, you can breathe in and then you breathe out. One more, big breath in. Big breath out. Very good. So this is what we're gonna do for relaxation. We're gonna make a tummy snake and your head is going to rest on your partner's head. And when they breathe, you should feel your head move because they're filling their be belly so full of air, okay? So we're gonna have Phil lie first on his back and then we'll have mom come and put her head and we'll build a snake with the kids too. So mom, yep, <laughs> mom's gonna, and your legs will face that way. Yep, and then Joya, can you come next? And Joya, you're gonna put your head right here on mommy's tummy. Yep, and she's gonna lift her arm up and she can just let her arm rest and you're gonna go on your back, that's it. And your head's there. And Miss Bianca, you're gonna come here <laughs> and you're gonna go right onto Joya. And Joya, you're gonna re reach your arm up so make space for Bianca. That's it. And Bianca gets to put her hands on her belly to remind herself. That's it. And just for a moment, try to become as calm and quiet and still as you can possibly become. Relax your feet, relax your toes, relax your fingers. Nice breathing in and bring all your awareness to that breath. Take a full deep breath in, fill your belly full, full, full. Good, I see heads moving. Breathe out, relax your belly down. One more time, big breath in, big breath out, that's it. And we're gonna just do one minute of silence and stillness here with our family. You can close your eyes if that's comfortable. Just notice the sounds you hear around you as you lie here. Notice how your body feels. Notice how your breathing feels. back into our bodies. Start with your breath. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. Good. Wiggle your toes a little bit. Maybe wiggle your snake tail, your bottom a little bit. That's it. And then one by one, we're going to slowly come up all the way. So Bianca first, Joy a second, Mama third, Daddy last. And we're gonna finish our class. You can sit on your mat with your parent or you can sit on your own yoga mat, wherever you wanna go. That's it. And 
let's end sitting nice and tall like we started class. Bring your hands out to the side of your body and remember our sunshine arms ocean breath. That's how we'll end. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Very good. Thank you for class today.